What's good, Skins fans? So I know the report came out a couple of hours ago that Trent wants out. He doesn't want to be part of the Washington Redskins organization anymore. He doesn't want to wear a jersey for them. He doesn't trust Bruce Allen. He doesn't trust our medical staff, and he wants to be traded. So that was reported by Jason LaComfora, a CBS reporter who I checked his credibility. He is not reliable. He is not credible. The guy, every time he reports something about the Redskins, he's pessimistic. So Redskins fans, we should not trust him. So that's why I didn't make a video about it a couple of minutes after the report came out. So I waited and I saw a notification that the Redskins VP had stated that uh, and everything that Jason Lacanfora reported was 100% false. So we heard that Lacanfora said this. And that training camp today, Morgan Moses, the right tackle for the Washington Redskins, was wearing Trent Williams' jersey as a joke as if he was him and stated that Trent actually wants to be back and he wants to play with this team. And another form of this, if you look at it through Trent Williams' perspective, is that he is stomping his foot down and saying, I want to be paid, and I, I, I am the best left tackle in the NFL, and you guys need to pay me. And he sees that the the offensive line is struggling without him in, in training camp because the defensive line, looking at some clips, is shredding our offensive line, and we need the best of help because we we can't put Keenum in his first year with the offense or Haskins if he starts as a rookie without our be without our left tackle who is an all pro caliber pl caliber player. So with that being said, I know there was other situation with Trent that last year he had a benign tumor that was precancerous and then I guess the medical staff of the Redskins didn't report to him directly and he found out on his own through his personal doctor and he was really mad about that. I mean anybody would be mad about that. And of course, um, he had a surgery, it was successful, everything went well. But I just don't understand why the Redskins didn't report him. And this is all on Bruce Allen, the team president, and Dan Schneider. You cannot have your best players be treated like that. You must treat, treat them as good as they can. Make sure they're comfortable, make sure that they're healthy, and they want to play in Washington. I mean... This is the same that happened to Kirk Cousins, man. We didn't treat him well. Our whole organization did. We didn't want him there, but they did want him there. But at the same time, they just treated him bad. Now Trent Williams, this is the same thing, man. It's always something in one or two years. Washington Redskins drama, man. You just got to get used to it. <clears throat> what if this is Montez Sweat in the future? What if this is Dwayne Haskins? We have to treat our players correctly, man. This is unacceptable. These You can't have your all pro, all elite players go through this, man. It's unbelievable. You got to treat them carefully. Now I'm going to rant about Bruce Allen. Because we all know Redskins fans, we call for this man's head. We want him to be fired. But let me just do some ranting about him. So I did some, I wrote down some stuff. I did a little research about him. So Bruce Allen was hired by the Redskins in 2009. His record with the Redskins while he is in office is 58-84-1. That one tie was with the Bengals in London. I remember when Dustin Hopkins missed that field goal. But... I, just, I don't know why I said that, but anyway, his winning percentage as with, with being the Washington Redskins team president is 40.6. Now, if we compare this to Ernie Grunfeld, the guy across, not even across the street, in D.C., I don't know it's irrelevant, but I want to, but we all know how bad Ernie Grunfeld was as a Wizards GM, and now he's the ex-Wizards GM, thank God, and Ernie Grunfeld record was 546 and 692. And his winning percentage was 44.1, which is greater than Bruce Allen. Knowing how bad and atrocious Brittany Grunfeld was at the GM, and now we look at Bruce Allen, and he was better than Bruce Allen. That's saying something. But anyway, let's talk about some moves Allen has done when he was, when he was in, and while he's in office. He traded for Donovan McNabb. With the Eagles, he played great. When he came to Washington, just like every other superstar player, production goes down. In 2010, he was 6-10 and 10 when he, we were 6-10. and 10. Didn't do anything. 2011, what happened? Was it McNabb? No, it was John Beck and Rex Grossman. Do you know how difficult was that to watch two terrible quarterbacks compete for the starting job? Like, week to week, it was someone else. It was so bad as a kid watching that. But anyway, he was a trader for Alex Smith. That was a decent decent, uh, decent uh, trade, but we also lost Kendall Fuller, a young quarterback who's playing great for the Kansas City Chiefs now, and a third-round pick. I know Alex Smith, and now his leg is broke. I that, but that's not Bruce Allen's fault. But that was probably the good side of what Bruce Allen has done, which is hard to say. The putting the the uh, putting the word good and Bruce Allen in the same sentence, kind of crazy. But anyway, poisoning the Kirk Cousins situation. I can't even start about how disrespected Kirk Cousins was when he was with us. 
I mean, I remember one time when Bruce Allen said, called, when he was talking about him in a conference, in a meeting, or is it in the podium somewhere? Literally, this is what Bruce Allen said when he was addressing Kirk Cousins. He just called him Kurt, Kurt Cousins, like Kurt Warner, Kurt. And this is unbelievable. You can't do that to your starting quarterback, bro. Like, no wonder Kirk Cousins won out. The man wanted to be paid, and you don't. I know he was overrated and everything, but you gotta treat the man respectfully. You gotta, you gotta treat people the way you want to be treated. And Bruce Allen hasn't done any of that. The man is ignorant, bro. I don't understand why he's in office, but I, that's just the question. That that's like it's like those questions when you're sleeping and you, when you're about to go to sleep, and you're just thinking, oh, how is Bruce Allen still the Redskins team president? That question I'm always thinking about when I'm about to sleep. But anyway, that's one thing. He couldn't work with GM Scott McLuhan. Literally, Scott McLuhan was one of the best GMs we've had in a while. The guy was doing some great things. Drafting good players, picking up free agents. The guy was smart. And then Bruce Allen came in and just ruined him. There was reports about the, him and Dan accusing him of drinking a lot. And that was false. And... There was yabba yabba. Of course, Kyle McLuhan wanted to leave. The guy probably thought Bruce Allen was a maniac, bro. The guy probably thought that Bruce Allen doesn't know anything about football, and that's why he left. And now he's with, I think, in Cleveland. And look how good Cleveland is now. But besides that, we're not going to talk about that. We haven't even gone to the art. Robert Griffin the third saga giving up two first-round picks and one second-round pick. I mean, we gave up our future for that guy, and he was a one-hit one, one hit wonder. That guy, I... I mean, I'm sorry. RG3, like, now he's with the Baltimore Ravens. I hope one day he becomes a starting quarterback. But, man, we gave up a lot for him. It's unbelievable, man. And I, we, our 2013, first round for 2014, there were so many. We could have gotten players that probably could have been elite level right sorry now. Sorry about that, guys. My phone died. But, anyway, let's continue the Bruce Allen rant, shall we? So, I also, I was actually really ticked off when one time Bruce Allen stated that the Redskins as a whole are winning off the field. By them doing a lot of charity work. Yes, you are winning off the field. And I understand doing charity. Ah, oh, great. That's that's unbelievable. That's fantastic. But the product on the field is terrible. I mean, I said all the stats. Everything has been said. The truth has been said. Out the truth will set you free. We know the truth. The product is terrible. And most of the funny thing was, I remember a couple, maybe this last year, a couple months ago, or several months ago, Dan Schneider fired the business operation of the Redskins because there weren't enough seats. The attendance was plummeting. And you wonder why the attendance was plummeting. Because the product on the field was terrible. I'm trying not to yell because my everybody in my house is probably sleeping. But the product on the field was terrible. And what do you expect the business operations to do? They can't force people in season unless you give them Taylor Swift tickets to go with to a Redskins game. You can't do that. Well, probably. They might, they might be doing that if they have to, but I don't know. That's another thing. Winning off the field. It's just, I don't want Bruce Allen, man. This guy needs to go. I feel like Stephen A. Smith when he was writing about Phil Jackson. I, the guy needs to go, man. He needs to go. I don't understand why. Like, he and Dan must be really close. But when you can't even treat your elite players on your team respectfully, how can you call yourself a professional? It just doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. That rant is over, guys. So, if we do trade Trent, I've heard a lot of people saying that it would be a, we could get Stephon Diggs from Minnesota, which is highly unlikely. I don't think Minnesota would want to trade him. But Trent, I guess we uh, hopefully we can get a first-round pick or second-round pick. But, guys, I do not want to trade Trent. He's so valuable to the team, man. Honestly, this, this, this offensive line is going to look terrible. My goodness. Anyway, guys, thanks for listening to the rant. Hopefully, I'll make this Wizards offseason review video in a couple of days. I'm sorry it's been backed up. I've been busy. But, yeah, guys, thanks for listening. This is this was a long video. Hopefully, you stay tuned if you're a real one. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Leave a like and comment. Guys, I'm what so sorry. My phone is acting up. It died again. But, anyway, comment what did you think about the situation. If you think the report is true or hopefully it is false. And what do you think we should do with Trent? And if we trade Trent, what do you think we would get out of him? Anyway, guys, hail to the Wizards. Hail to the Redskins. All right, y'all. Peace.